where am I? What sorcerer's abode is this? Aneska. <laughs> Who is that? A vampire! Kill him! Back off, bloodsucker! I'm sending you to hell! Who's that? Who's that? From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. Joy! My research has paid off! The fools who laughed at me won't be laughing now! Won't the leaders of the Society of Leopold be chastened to learn that I have uncovered the location of Viserad Castle? Get back! Get back!
way to get a hold of some damn shit. They'll be my teeth. Die, filthy beast! Look how all the world hath aged, and I have aged too. I feel old and drained, and weathered as all these relics. Journal entry, October 1999. We've been driven off the dig. Damn Zemitsi. We've lost half our forces. Back to England to regroup. Still, Dr. Alatius is oddly optimistic. He reckons that the ancient vampire we found will be the key to carrying on a holy crusade. I want to douse the undead wretch with petrol and strike a match to it. But the doctor knows best. Journal entry, August 1999. The Prague excavation is finally on schedule. The kindred resting places have finally yielded up their secrets. And we've gotten the crates of Earth to London without troubling customs. Dr. Alatius is finally pleased with us, after giving us hell for two years.
burns me. <laughs> Burn like this. Back off, blood. I'm sending you to hell. <laughs> The Journal of Father Leo Wallacius, Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Viserard Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries, fully expecting to find a hive of Zemitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted, deserted and utterly intact. This, despite the fact that several of Vukadlak's faithful followers survived the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. Visserod Castle, from an unknown source, probably kindred. The Tsimitsi conspire against not just the other clans, but against the Antediluvians and Cain himself, and against God in an ultimate battle they dare to hope to win. 
In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Cainites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. Fall of Viserard Castle. Further additions to the original by Father Leo Alatius. Viserard Castle was once the heart of a pitched battle between humans and kindred scum. It marks the first time in recorded history that humans have successfully overthrown the bloodsuckers. They were burned, pulled from their havens, and left to bake in the sun. They call it the night the very demons shook the walls of the city, spewing flame and death. Those brave humans are our spiritual forefathers, because they started the Inquisition and burned countless vampires. Of course, 
There was a lot of collateral damage, but that's unavoidable. Though we call ourselves the Society of Leopold, I prefer the name Inquisition. It strikes fear. What followed was centuries of hiding, which the vampires call the Masquerade. They went underground and tried to build a coalition. Fortunately, they split on policy. Two sects arose, the Camarilla and the Sabbat. The Sabbat sought to regain their domination over the Kine and spurned the masquerade adopted by the Camarilla. I trace this fracture in the vampire world to this event. Therefore, I must uncover the legendary Viserard castle. Who knows what wonders it holds? The fall of Viserard castle. Additions to the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Bukidlok's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. But the Bruja Prometheans, led by Ekaterina the Wise, crushed his plan and raised Viserard Castle to rubble. Ekaterina conspired with the mortals of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Vukudlok's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term, but in the long run the kindred suffered. Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. From the Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Viserard Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and lore. This is costing me a fortune. Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. Now 
burns me. You feel your unlike losing away? Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Friar Ignatius insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Viserard Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruin. Who's that? Whoa. 
Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. God has blessed me with my greatest prize, an ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mock all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate where I'll bind him and Fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi, who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabah. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Hello, filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius, and I have killed bloodsuckers like you for two hundred years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred, vintage 12th century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place, but I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. 
You have no one. You are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. Oh. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukodlak. Then, with the blood of Vukodlak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the Earth! Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. Now is all my reason thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches, which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. <laughs> 